fiber ethernet media converter now you may be thinking yeah what does it actually do let me quickly explain why you might want this now this is not for everyone not normally used something like this in a normal household this is if you use fiber optics and you've got a device that is ethernet only let me give you an example so this is my Synology NAS it has two ethernet connections there ethernet yeah now if I want to use fiber I can't take these out and put fiber connections in I have to convert this to a fiber connection and this is what this does it will change this let me give you an, <laughs> let me give you another example it will change this connection here yeah into a connection like this now these only run at a thousand megabytes per second yeah whereas my NAS my other NAS my QNAP NAS that has a 10 gigabit connection now the thing is it uses this type of connection so I need something to convert this connection into this connection because I want to use fiber and uh, I like fiber I think it's better and it's a future in my opinion that is so I bought this now be warned there are cheap models out there which do exactly the same thing but they will only run up to a thousand megabytes per second not your 10 gig All right so it comes with a power plug and this is it that is it nothing special doesn't look much but this apparently can do up to 10 gigabit speed which is what I need so if I'm going to run my QNAP at maximum speed for transferring files I need something like this rather than Ethernet because my switch which is in my new data cabinet is 2.4 gigabits per second and or gigabytes and it has fiber connections that's four of them so i want to connect this to my qnap and into my switch going fiber now i've noticed there's no instructions so i'm guessing it's basically plug and play so power in now yeah let me bring this over i shouldn't drop it because it's got hard drives in it so that will go in now we have two connections here, loads of lights, so that will go in there, like so, and then that will go in now, but you need a converter. Luckily, we have some here, or connectors, so you need one of these, yeah, just a little cover. That would slot in like that, make sure it's the right way up, which it's not. So that would go in there like that that locks in place and then take these off little covers that would go in there like that and that would go in the other connection that has fiber which is my switch and that is it plug that into the power and the led will light up telling you what speed you've got and it should it should come up and say 10 gig yeah so that's what i'm hoping for so i am going to be testing that right now right so i've set all up and i stuck it to the side of the side panel as you can see and uh, yeah i think it's the ideal place to put it all the lights are working the one that's flashing is the active flashing light and it is running at 10g so we are flat out now i have it connected to my qnap and from my qnap to my pc so they're linked together and we are going to be doing a speed test i want to quickly show you that you've run at SFP plus at 10G. Love it. Right, let's do the speed test. Now I have installed speed test on my NAS and I'm going to be connecting it from my NAS or from my PC to my NAS or doing a speed test from my PC to the NAS. And as you can see, she's blistering fast. Yes, exactly where it should be.
yes, it is blistering fast. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Let me know if you think it should be faster. I think it's about the right speed for what I bought. Now, as always, I will stick links into the actual products that I bought, so make sure you check them out and make sure you buy the right one that suits you. And if this is something you are interested in, or if this is something you'd like to go into a bit more detail, say, for instance, my server build, look out for some more videos that I'm actually working on at the moment. And I've already released some of them, so you could check them out by subscribing, clicking on the bell to get notified and giving this video a thumbs up. So, with that, I'll say it one more time, links in the video description. Try and check them out, baby. And yes, I did have the instructions. Sorry about that. I thought I, I, thought I didn't have the instructions, but I did. So, uh, with that, thank you very much for watching.